Uh, we've got some really wet weather coming in. Uh, we've got showers, we've got thunderstorms. Michael, our second round of the week, and we're right on the edge of it. The clouds have been thickening up. Uh, well, they've stayed on the thick side overnight, and uh, well, they're on the rise out to the west. The shower chance, as you can see, I'm starting to creep in uh, around western Kentucky. They've already had a couple of batches come through, some heavier rain out towards Paducah. So this is the first of all to be multiple waves that are tracking our way thanks to this wave of low pressure and a warm front lifting in later on today. Now, the good news for us, the severe threats down south today, tomorrow, Sunday. Notice it's all along the Gulf Coast or the Carolinas. Uh, we are far enough north that we'll likely have some rumbles of thunder, but don't anticipate severe weather, but heavy rain possible. Once we get through this round, though, it does seem to back off next week. It was looking like we'd have a shot firing up toward the middle of next week. We're going to push that one off a little later, which means we could get into a bit of an extended dry stretch uh, after the end of the weekend. But we're still starting it off, and as this warm front lifts in, in addition to these occasional showers around this morning, we'll have scattered showers and some rumbles of thunder. A lot of our southeastern counties may not see much initially, but eventually it will get to you. You can see it spreading in later on in the evening and overnight as low pressure lifts in and runs up the Ohio River. We'll have wraparound scattered showers, probably some rumbles of thunder again Saturday afternoon. This is getting into mid-afternoon Saturday before that low finally pulls out of here. And even some snow coming around the back end of it up across Ohio and Indiana. So uh, this is going to be an active system for the weekend and we can end up with rainfall amounts ranging between a half an inch upwards of an inch or two. If you have a couple of rounds of heavy rain coming through, those numbers can climb fairly quickly. And yes, this weekend we spring forward. Daylight saving time kicks in. Sunday, March 10th at 2 a.m. Set those clocks ahead one hour. There you can see the difference in the sunrise and sunset between Saturday and Sunday. And um, the actual beginning of spring, even though we're into meteorological spring, the vernal equinox, that's March 19th. So that's just around the corner as well. So we got a lot of these spring milestones coming our way. 51 in Lexington right now. We're only a couple of degrees shy of our normal high of 53 and we'll be in the mid 60s. So by the end of the weekend, we do drop to the upper 40s Sunday and overnight lows are a little concerning as well because we've got a chance to get down to and even a degree or two below freezing. And there are a lot of things starting to butt out now and I've been talking about this a lot. We're not even into the time frame where we see our average last hard freeze, freeze or frost. That's late March all the way through the month of April. And we're still, you know, just getting into March here. So uh, this is pretty early in the season to be as warm as we are and to have everything starting to bud out, especially fruit trees. So this could be a problem for us uh, later in the month. But for right now, we're running warm. Mid 60s today, only down to 50 tonight. Of course, showers, some rounds of showers, thunder showers around. Don't be surprised if you hear some rumbles of thunder. We'll fall to the upper 50 Saturday as that low goes through. It could get a little gusty into the afternoon with scattered showers, a few thunder showers out there. Sunday, things finally simmer down in the wake of that system, but look where we bottom out. Upper 40s, we actually go below normal briefly, ever so briefly. Next week, here comes that unseasonable warmth yet again. 50s to 60s, probably pushing 70 degrees with some additional shower and storm chances starting to come our way at the end of the eight day, which unfortunately also syncs up with that weekend.